Welcome back, everybody. Uh, hello. Back it's to been, the Panzer. It's been weeks and weeks. Probably or just one. Seven <laughs> days. Feels like for, for ever. Is he napping? Sleeping? Does he ever not sleep during the night time? No, oh, he's normal. He sleeps at night. <laughs> yeah. It's not normal for me. <laughs> the dragon's dare no. <laughs> what if you're wrong? Uh, as in it's really nocturnal? As in it's really not happy. Oh. I think he's happy. <laughs> He seems happy. Kind of like based on based around. on Edge's thinking, what does he know about dragons? That's a good point. <laughs> He's looking at us. God, what on earth were we doing? Um, the last I remember was your in this really big ass area blasting all the little points on the map. Oh, that's right. This thing up here. Yeah. Boom. So this Saturday I had an interesting adventure with the Mercedes. Oh yeah. Um I don't know if I mentioned that there was there was like some oil leak which ended up actually being my power string uh, reservoir. Oh, really? It okay. had a crack in it, so depending on like the amount of oil in the reservoir, if it was above where the crack was, it would just leak out. But I uh, I just noticed it one day because there was like a kind of a mini pool in the garage. So I was like, what mm. is this? <clears throat> but it looked. Um, Basically, just like super clean motor oil. Uh -huh. I was like, it, it can't be motor oil because this car hasn't had an oil change in that thing yet. Mm. What's up, circuitry? Hey! Hello. So, you went to fix it? Uh, I went to fix it and I kind of tracked where it was coming from and I was like, oh, it's the, the power steering. And it was about a month away from having its regular service, anyhow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we break these now? We can. Progress. So are you just going to wait then? Oh, no, I just went ahead and did the service early. Oh, okay. Because the car, like, it just has, like, this little timer when it wants service. Mm-hmm. And um, it was some like 40 days out. Well, I guess there's no harm in, in no, so I was like, oh, doing it early, obviously. I'll just do it early, have like those guys take a look at the, the reservoir, and they're like, yeah, it's, it is actually broken. They just put a new one in. Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic, right? Plastic reservoir? Yep. Yeah, it's just a, a little plastic thingy. Yeah. I wonder how it got cracked. That part's weird. I don't know, because it's it's not like it's near things. It's it's actually yeah. like where it is in the car is sort of hidden away, or like away from any moving parts. The only thing I can think of is, um, I mean, the car is from 2010. Mm -hmm. So it could just be like thermal stress after a decade. Uh, sure. Like heating, cooling, heating, cooling, and then just like, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I'm not long for this world. <laughs> Honestly, for, I don't, that's the only way it made sense to me. <laughs> or, I mean, maybe what's could be more likely is probably someone fucked it up at one of the services. Oh, maybe I, like smashed it with a, with a wrench or something? Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe it was stuck and they tried a little bit too hard to open it or, or who knows, and they just cracked it and... Either they didn't want to say anything and did it, or they didn't actually notice. <laughs> well, was it cracked up by the like the uh, the assembly, no. or was it like 
like down in a corner of the of the reservoir or something. Uh, it wasn't near where the the fill cap is or like the screw cap, mm-hmm. but it was kind of off to the side of it. So it's I don't really see how it could have cracked from either being stuck or someone trying to like torque it too difficult or too mm-hmm. with too much force. Interesting. But I was like, well, whatever, just replace it. And those yeah. things are. Not it's not. It's not such a big mystery that you need to, to weigh all the options to just fix the thing. <laughs> I mean, of course, it being a Mercedes part, it's the most expensive piece of plastic in the world. <laughs> uh, but it's. I mean, I'm well familiar with that. How much did it cost for for just the part? I was like 150. Oh my god! What a fucking ripoff. It's fine. I mean, yeah, like I get it, it's fine, but like, like it, it like, imagine having to pay like fifty dollars for for a milk bottle cap or something like that. Like you'd be like, no. Well, I, I don't think you have much choices because it's it's a Mercedes part for a Mercedes <laughs> yeah. car, right? So there really isn't a aftermarket for those things. <laughs> Bastards! They know you got they got you. I'm sure you could just jerry-rig some coke bottle on there and you're like, oh, there you go. Here's my power oh steering my God. reservoir. That'd be hilarious. Uh, oh, but that that wasn't uh, the end of the adventure. So oh, really? When I was cleaning it up, and I kind of took like the the skid plates and stuff like that off because those were kind of covered in oil and I cleaned those up. And I had to take that stuff off to see where it was leaking from anyway. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, I noticed that the the front tires, which I haven't had changed in a while, because they don't, it's a rear wheel drive car, so they don't wear too quickly, at least as compared to the rears. That there was pretty bad wear on both of them on the inside, so like the both needed new tires, and the the camber was off because they weren't wearing correctly. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I need to get new tires and an alignment, which both have been a long time since I did that, so it's not a shock. So I went to pick up new tires, and typically, like, I have kind of weird tires on the car, so sometimes they have to order them. Um, but the place I went to had two in stock. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then yeah. I found another shop that was able to fit me in for alignment the same day. And I was like, oh, this is great. And it was all kind of back-to-back. <clears throat> so I didn't need to make appointments. They're like, yeah, just come by whenever, and, like, we'll figure it out. So I do that, like take it to the alignment shop. Like the, the tires are fine, brand new tires. And then it gets on like the little machine that does the alignment and I'm like there for maybe like 30 minutes or whatever, it's pretty quick. And the the guy takes it off and he's gonna go like drive it just to make sure that everything feels correctly before he like signs off on it. Mm-hmm. But then like he starts it up and I'm, I'm talking to someone that I met at the shop and so, like, I do hear the car start up because it has kind of, like, a unique sound. Uh, but then it doesn't sound right. Like, it's basically misfiring. Oh, no. And then I was like, maybe I'm just not hearing it correctly. Because, I mean, it was fine. Uh, so he kind of, like, backs it out and it starts misfiring even more. And it's basically, like, undrivable. And I was like, what? What did you do to my car? Well, he, I mean, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing he could have done. He, for our alignment, it's not like he even like pops the hood, so it's right it's entirely like, <laughs> not his fault. But we're like, God. what the fuck? Um, so he like he kind of calls me over, and I'm already like halfway walking over because it's like you're yeah, like, oh, that's not right. Going on, and I was like, why is it misfiring? And he's like, yeah, I know. Um, so then I I kind of like get in, check a few things. I I tried like revving it just to um, essentially to try to force it to throw a code so that that check engine mm-hmm. light would come on. Mm-hmm. So kind of like gently rev it, then let it like fall down, gently rev it. And like, it's just not happy and getting worse. Mm. And um, after maybe like five seconds of, of doing that, it, the check engine light comes on and it's like throwing a bunch of codes. So the, the dude, scan, <laughs> the dude scans it with like the oh, bring your computer the out. scan tool. 
And it was just like misfire on just about every cylinder. It was like cylinder one, three, four, five, six, seven. After alarm. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> cylinder one and eight were okay. But Jesus Christ. But we have a problem. Um, so I was like, uh, clearly you can't drive it. So I was just going to have it uh, towed to like the Mercedes shop that worked on it, which mm -hmm. isn't an issue either because I have AAA. So I just like call them up and whatever. And I'm, I'm still talking to that person that I met at the shop. And because AAA is going to be out like 40 minutes. Um, and I think maybe 20 minutes into it, I thought I would just go back to the car and just check on it. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead to try to start it. It starts perfectly fine. Of course. Uh, and then I like uh, put it in neutral, like rev it gently a couple times back and forth. No problems. Oh, we can't even go back in there. See, we can't go back in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it, no problems. Um, then I turn it off and start it maybe like another six times just to see if it was a fluke. Still no problems. Mm -hmm. Each time it starts okay. So it was that classic uh, turn it on or turn it off and let it rest and then turn it back on again problem. Like troubleshooting <laughs> method. Just leave it alone for a minute. It'll fix, unfuck itself. Kinda. Uh, <laughs> I still can't explain what happened. The only thing I can think of is... Um, Maybe something was wet, because I, I noticed that they topped off my um, coolant, mm -hmm. and I think they had spilled a little bit of it, so th I could see like some dried off coolant trail that was going off of the reservoir, and then it like okay. kind of went onto like the the body and stuff like that, and then like uh, down towards the bottom. But it's not uh, like it was like a flood. Sure, uh -oh. but it would have it would have dried up in that in that time that you waited. It would have, but then the, ugh, I mean, the service was completed the day before, so it still would have been a stretch if it would be like that drenched. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I can think of is like maybe something was wet and it caused a short, and then it dried out. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of, kind of a, an interesting mystery that one. That's it's still a bit of a stretch. Uh, well, it, let's just hope that it, it was that though, or or something just, you know similarly, uh, so that like it's not just going to happen again one day. It's a random startup and it's completely misfiring all over the place. That would be extremely annoying. Hey, we found this like flying critter. What does that just, thing want? Uh, it got separated from its mother. <laughs> oh no. Reminds me of Mario 64. But hopefully that thing doesn't come back. Yeah. yeah Though if exactly. it does, that's... Um, I kind of cleaned up everything in the engine bay when I got home. Just to make yeah. sure that there's no like weird fluid or oil anything anywhere. So I'll be able to check if anything leaked. So if it does it again... Presumably everything in the engine bay should be dry that I can see, and if there's anything wet, that would mean that it's new. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It does kind of look headless, doesn't it? <laughs> like, I haven't been able to identify the head on it. I mean, I know where it should be. On the dragon? On the, uh, on the thing the that's little... following you. Yeah, your companion. <laughs> it just looks like the end of its body just ends. Yeah, I mean, I don't head. think it really has, like, much of a neck. It's just torso <laughs> and then head plop right onto the torso. Like a face on the end of its body. It's like a blobfish. <laughs> so all of that was basically my entire Saturday. <laughs> wow. That sounds like uh, quite the ordeal. But it 
it wasn't stressful. Like that's the reason why I have AAA. Mm-hmm. And actually, in previous cases, it it was stressful because I didn't have AAA, and that's exactly why I got it. <laughs> so it's like, oh, need a tow? Excellent. Good Didn't move. Work. Longest part is just waiting. Mm hmm. And then I don't need the car for anything, so if the shop needed to keep it, well, that's fine too. Right, right, right. <clears throat> I seriously can't remember what the last thing was that we did. I like, don't remember, I feel, but like, like so much has changed in the past week. Like I don't even know if I'm the same <laughs> person anymore. A whole new world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, the last thing I remember doing is that, like I said, was going around that big ass map and bombing everything. But then, like, I don't know what that was for with the plot and all that. Like, well, we so they were gonna keys. shoot a missile to like destroy this village oh. oh which I think we stopped that and there was a guy here which he asked us to go destroy that area and then I think he was gonna give us some stuff <laughs> excellent it's like, is that a person it's a person all right I just bought Skyrim and it's a, it's all downloaded and installed now <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to play that after this. I actually kind of want to watch that. Gotta oh, go for it. Circuitry, right. sorry, yeah. I missed your, your stream. Oh, Airball was cool. Um, You should rewatch it, or, or at least, uh, you know, like, uh, put it on for a minute to to check out what Airball looks like. It's a, You'd like it, probably. The hmm. puzzle game, for sure. Puzzle platformer. Joshikidemono Quite the labyrinth. Didn't they say those windows were made of dragon wings? Uh, I don't know if it was dragon wings or just like monster wings or monster parts or something. Okay. <laughs> he just snuck in. <laughs> He's been in there for like five minutes. Edge <laughs> <laughs> These people are freaky. It's like Titus. Oh no. <laughs> そんなものに怯えていたとは、所詮 考えるまでもないですよな。愚かな奴だ。いつかお前にも分かる日が来る。続きは明日の評議会で聞きましょう。
たせたねちくんきみのおかげですべてがうまくいったよいやまさにこのまちのえいゆだよきみはそれよりああいさんのことかねわるいがあすまでまってくれんかきょうぎかいがおわるまではきょうかがおりんかいおりんかいあしたら。<laughs> How do you know that Torian legend doesn't look like a Tetris block man? <laughs> Maybe he's got a rare body condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't wait till nightfall. There's something else we have to do. What's up, Hubicore? Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> yep. The whole band's together today. So yeah, I think the uh, the first episode of Skyrim uh, coming up after this is going to be a lot of fun because because we're gonna I'm gonna have uh, circuitry and whoever else is around help help me make the uh, character. Oh god! And all that yeah. and <laughs> decide on decide on what kind of a. Uh, you know, person and they're, they're gonna be, it's probably gonna end up being, you know, the same kind of person I always play in these games, the kleptomaniac, murderous asshole. Um, we're, we're gonna attempt to, 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 uh, to set up some kind of, some kind of a, a character foundation. <laughs> uh, the only thing I want to make sure I do is uh, choose the Argonian race, because I, I like them lizard people. <laughs> yeah, Hades. I, I've uh, I want to I want to get into that whenever I have time to you before, because um, it definitely looks like a cool one. It's like a badass one. What did you say, Forest? Well, that's what the kid was saying. He's like, there's no oh. one here anymore. Yeah, that does sound like fun, Yubacore. Down. Kimi, where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah, hopefully uh, Penguin Nerdy tunes in. I think she'd like it, too. Give me my reward, you asshole. All right. Can we go upstairs now? Can you sit here? Maybe. For the most part, yeah, it's 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 low key, uh, but that that one dude who we're trying to get our reward from is kind of extra goofy. At least his uh, like body motions are extra goofy, and kind of his voice too, but more more so the body motions. Body language is all over the place. Huh? <laughs> 
Uh, uh, lie to him. He'll serve us well. Can't you just, like, go get your dragon and bust down the door and scare the crap out of him? Like, you can't treat me like this. Is that the order you're gonna play them in, Yubacore? Because I don't know that, I mean, I haven't played the first two there, but the, both of the Zone of the Enders games are good. And, uh, like, it, it would be a shame to have to wait that long through two other games <laughs> to play Zone of the Enders. Oh yeah, Zone of the Enders is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I think have it for PS4 and there's a VR mode which oh. is like sickening like it, it's <laughs> because like if you could imagine it's being, very fast paced being in Jehuti with the maneuvers that you make in it <laughs> and then sounds VR. like it would re be very like I'd probably just fall over <laughs> but it's it's a lot of fun like, I'm sure especially you're like... if you don't get motion sickness because the, the frame don't. rate's the frame rate's good, so your brain isn't bothered by it. Okay. But I mean, like you, you're undoubtedly gonna play worse than you would if it was just on a screen, right? Oh, oh 100%. Because you only yeah. have like, I don't know, maybe a 120 degrees of view mm -hmm. versus having the camera just be like completely outside. behind you, yeah, completely yeah. behind you, or just above you. That's funny. But I mean, it's it's got to be whether or not you do better. Uh, it's it's probably way more fun. It's it's fun just to see it from that perspective. Yeah. Story. Um, I remember it not being t too bland. It was it was pretty good. Um, don't remember it being like phenomenal, but it was definitely uh, nothing to, to like turn your nose up at. I stands way too close to you. <laughs> You definitely get a lot of mech stuff with uh, with Zone of the Enders. That's for show. Oh yeah, I heard uh, a little bit about the Switch Pro, or potential uh, of it being released. And uh, it sounds like it might happen. Guess we'll see, huh? Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they did make one. Uh, it would be pretty uh, pretty damn cool though. I mean, like, uh, they say that if, it, if they do, <clears throat> that it would be about as powerful as a baseline PS4 is not, not bad at all, actually. <laughs> I still have a base piece of PS4. I have no problems with it. Like, you mean that, just not the Pro, right? Like, the, my base? The Switch, yeah, the Switch Pro should be about as powerful as a, as a regular PS4. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. Yeah. The, the non-Pro PS4. What am I supposed to do? How shitty would it be though if they just made like a Switch 2 and did not let you have backwards compatibility with, with the Switch games that you already have? That'd be that'd be some fucking horse shit. 
hope that does not happen. It doesn't seem like it would, though, because, like, uh, uh, Nintendo seems to be pretty fine with letting people play games that are from other platforms, like previous platforms, on, on the current gen. Mm. I was never, or, like, I could never really explain why the PS5 has the backwards compatibility issues. Yeah, because it's supposed to be way more powerful than, than the P PS4. Mm -hmm. um, but even even still, like, if it can't... Like, well, how how is it not powerful enough or, or whatever to, to be able to run a PS1 emulator or a PS2 emulator? Well, see, that's the part that I was curious on. Because, like, there's one thing about it being efficient. Mm -hmm. which the fact that the thing is plugged into the wall. I mean, you can just kick efficiency out the window. Yeah. Um... And even like with the most inefficient software emulator for like PlayStation One or PlayStation Two, yeah, it should probably be able to just muscle through it. Yeah, exactly. There's plenty of, of hardware power behind it to just do it. Which is like from software engineering, that's never a reason to do things. So it's like just because you can muscle through it, just you write shitty code. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely <laughs> seen that. Like that is a thing. Uh -huh. Or like if you don't have any memory constraints and you don't have software um, or like CPU constraint, they're like, fuck it. Write the most inefficient code and muscle through it. And like hardware will do that. So does the so PS5 doesn't have backwards compatibility for anything? They don't play anything but PS5 games? Uh, no, it'll play PS4 games. But I okay. think there's like some PS4 games that don't work. Um, mm. I, I don't like, I think this is just, like, research on my part. Like, other than kind of reading a few articles, and probably most of them were just, like, headlines, I never really bothered to check why that was the case. And I don't know if it's explained. Mm. <laughs> that seems stupid, though. But, yeah, like, realistically, definitely for PlayStation 1, it should be able to just muscle through anything with, like, a software-based emulator. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, and I've been able to to emulate the PS One and PS Two for years now on on a PC. So like, why the fuck wouldn't it be able to do that? Or were they just decide to not let it? Well, I think it's probably the latter. Like, there's yeah. some business decision. For that. I think a lot of it might be they want you to get the game again through PSN. Yeah. Or um, through the store. The store, I guess, can be kind of tricky because I think they technically have to port it. Like they, whoever published the yeah. game, or like made the game, it has to run on PS Five. You know, and like programming, I guess. It's it's been a couple of months since I've used my um, PSN account, but I don't think there's ever been PlayStation One games. Oh, um. Yeah, yes, on on PS4. Anyway, I have I have um, the King of Fighters 2001 or whatever it is, mm -hmm. or 99 maybe. Um, it's for PlayStation One, and it's through PSN, like yeah. where you can yep. stream it. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, not streaming it. No, it's the it's I bought it. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, I was so there's one thing buying it from the PlayStation Store, and then there's the other one like the it is PSN, right? The you pay like I, I, whatever. I think you're. I think PSN and the PS Network or whatever. Yeah, uh, PlayStation fifty bucks Network. a year, and you can yeah. just either stream or download all these games. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, here's your favorite part. We oh didn't boy. Really slow down there. Wait, it didn't go. That's better now. I don't know. Huh. Maybe it's because we're on a different disc. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been hearing that Microsoft is going to buy Sega. Microsoft bought uh, Bethesda recently, I think. So people were worried that all all uh, Bethesda games were going to be 
Xbox or, or PC exclusive, Windows exclusive. Um, but I guess that they're not going to do that. It could be a timing thing. Yeah, where they where they uh, give it give it to Xbox first for a while, and then they, then it hits everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be that. And like, I feel like uh, if a company bought up a, a, a another production company like as big as Bethesda, they shouldn't just try and keep it all to themselves. Because like it's it's greedy. <laughs> like they make good games. Yeah, I don't imagine they would do that. They definitely make it a could see them making an uh, exclusive for like a year. Once in a while, maybe. But like for the most part, like they're not going to make Fallout or or the next Elder Scrolls game exclusive to one thing. They're going to put it on everything like they always do. Eventually. Like if you take the Final Fantasy games, like those are always exclusive for PlayStation for a little bit. Yeah. And then they get released elsewhere. Because, I mean, of course they want to make money. So yep, yep. contractually, I think they just have to make it exclusive for a little bit. Well, that's totally okay with me, because I don't usually get games as soon as they come out anyway. <laughs> they own Zorg Soul. Yeah, Yubacore, I think I think that's true too, because like I mean nowadays most current gen games can run uh other platforms games just as good as the, the, the other ones. I mean there's not like like the difference between Super Nintendo and the Genesis, like there's there's stark differences there that, that would make the game run differently. They can make it the same on everything nowadays. <laughs> あ。正直言って驚いたよ。まさか君が噂のドラゴン使いだったとはな。それだけか。僕のことを覚えているのなら自分があそこで何をしたかも覚えているはずだ。あの発掘所でな。I think he's kind of happy about it. これは戦争なのだよ。世界を破滅から守るためのね。その鍵とも言うべきアゼルを手に入れる。それはああいう方法しかなかった。もっとも帝国はまだ諦めていないようだ。君に会いに来たのはそのことだ。うつ。大丈夫か。くそ、逃がしたか。やっぱり帝国の奴らだったんだろ。昼間から何か怪しいと思ってたんだ。どうだい。俺も役に立つもんだろ。どうしたエッジいや何でもないクレイメン<笑> Ubicord, did they uh, make FF16 exclusive to the PS5? Like for good? Probably not for good. As of now, okay. Yeah. I think it'll be the same as like any other one. It'll be exclusive for a little bit, like mm -hmm. a year. And then it'll come up come out on other platforms. Fair enough. That's yeah, that's definitely the more common thing to happen nowadays. Yeah. For Nintendo, they keep their they keep their shit close to them. 
<laughs> Never gonna get to play Mario on on a, on an Xbox probably. Well, that that I think that's totally different IP. Yeah. But like their whole business model is is pretty pretty exclusive for the for the stuff that they produce anyway, not the yeah, stuff Nintendo's that gets produced for developer. everything. Yeah. Yeah, it was possible, but uh, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not 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 surprised that it didn't happen. Yeah, it seems to be working out pretty good for him, I guess. Shutting you out, man. Maybe because it's nighttime? I don't know. Oh, did you see, um, hey there, it slowed there. down there. <laughs> did you see uh, on uh, Team Four Stars YouTube page, they came out with a new video uh -oh. of the Dragon Ball Z one. It's hilarious. Um, they uh, they made like, uh, like they're, they're so they, they, it's all in CG and they uh, had Cell going through King Yama and uh, cause he, cause he died, right? Uh, uh, being killed by, by Gohan. So he goes to Hiffle <laughs> with all the other dead uh, dead villains, Wait, and it's who's, like our, who's Hiffle? Oh, Hiffle is a, the Hell for Infinite Losers. Remember, they they had to like oh. it's Hell, but they but they censored it, so they changed it to H F I L instead of H E L L, <laughs> <laughs> and they changed it so badly that that like they they made the acronym Home for Infinite Losers, <laughs> <laughs> and so like all the fucking other villains are are there, and they're like in this like rehab program in jail and they're all like like stunted they all like, wear these ankle bracelets that, that make them not able to fight <laughs> and their uh their wardens are are the big uh, german dudes that want to wrestle goku oh oh you know those guys yeah uh, Han hans and men's i think <laughs> it's just really funny they've only got one episode in but it's it's uh it looks like if they continue this like um series of shorts that it could turn into something pretty damn funny. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Oh, 
守り火の火種は教会の聖堂にあるこれがその聖堂の鍵だ Okay. Go to the sanctuary and get your treasure, which is actually a trap. Oh my God. <laughs> ここにはまだやることがあるんだ。ま、ま、ちょっと待ちたまえ。君には君の都合があるかもしれんが、ここを守るのも大切な使命だと思うよ。神の使いは神の町を守るべきだろ。No。ペイミ。関係ないよ。
Oh. I can do something with this at night? I guess. Uh... If the door's not locked. Right. <laughs> A leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Not too many of those things in this game. <laughs> They're lying on us. That sucks. So maybe that's the thing we have to go. That's what that thing is in that room. Mm hmm. Let's go see what it does at night. Ooh. I just remembered I gotta download some music real quick. Before I stream Skyrim, because like, um, well, I'm sure all the music that does play is uh, copywritten, but there's not much of it at all anyway. Like you can <clears> just <throat> replace it with something overall with something else. Mm. Like most of the, most of the time, when you're just out on the field or out, outside or whatever, um, it's like ambient noise, ambient boring nothing. It's only really like uh, the music only really kicks in when you're like in battle or something. A lot is happening. But I can turn it off. What is that thing? I'm gonna get some of that stuff that she uh, circuitry suggested a while back. <laughs> There's the tower. Oi, don't you go? Edgy. Go to no scary cut of a car to the car. I wanted to turn the stand to go. So, お前がこれに触ったまま光に包まれてて光ああさっきの幻見えなかったのか見えなかったって何が塔があってその They broke it. Nani mo okinai zo. Ore wa mo skoshi koitsu o shirabete miru yo.
Progress. Hey, yeah. Uh... Well, so I, I think it gave us like a rough direction, so maybe something new appeared on the map. Yeah, I'm going to download the Season 5 album from Ace Dana, or Dana, however you say it. Should be good. Good dragon. I think he's happy. Gets pets. I wonder if there's a correlation with this word Melkava and what mm -hmm. was in Xenogears Xenosaga Markava. Me, I don't know. I mean, they're strangely closely sounding. Kaba Kaba. What do they mean? It? <laughs> cool music. Yeah. these things. Oh no! It tricks us. Ouch. Because I did want to get in front, <laughs> but I wanted to shoot them first. Like how they just fall apart. <laughs> And just tumble off into the distance. Drones. Oh god. No shelter. What? Oh. Oh, what happened to you? Cannot evade. Giant ship 
thing spawn those little little guys, or are they just like fighter jet? I think the uh, idea is that these things are supposed to be in these areas. Uh huh. Like they're just protecting them. And that's why it says like intruder removal system. Okay. I didn't see that part. Or like send spawn. Sure. Sure. <laughs> weird. What's the point of these things? Because I can just stay here and go inside, or I get to shoot them. Breaking stuff is fun. That's the point. <laughs> and shit. Yeah, don't be doing that. <laughs> we don't need that in our lives. We don't need any fusion here. We're just fine. Oh god. No! <laughs> That was 
was incredibly fast. Didn't we just level up in the last fight? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't watching. <laughs> God damn it. But that's always nice to have an extra level. <clears throat> Stuffs. Recover. Ancient device. That just means this place is gonna be big. Probably some kind of labyrinth. <clears throat> hey, this sphincter's different. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he turns around or no. I think I'm actually going to download the soundtrack to this game to, to play while uh, I uh, do Skyrim. Because I know that it's loud <laughs> and it's pretty good music. Panzer Dragoon Saga? Yeah. Good. We haven't been red flagged on, on this game okay. at all, so... The boss fight sounds in this game are amazing. Boss music. Yeah. Tracks. There's like 60 tracks. Nice. They're all like a minute or two long, though, which is yeah. totally fine. Got a bunch to download. <laughs> Nowhere is safe. Kill it. <laughs> Great fight. <laughs> Deal off the explosion. Cool. We're done here. <laughs> I'll be going now.
so I cranked up the boost in the Evo even further. Oh yeah? Now it's at uh, 29 pounds. What was it before? Like 24. <laughs> and stock is 18. Is it um, dangerous to go too far? Um, or will um, it just like not work? Not with the fuel that I'm running. So on, on E85, like the mm -hmm. ethanol fuel, it can support that. Cool. But I think the, the stock turbo is kind of capped out, probably at around 30 pounds. That's the best <laughs> it can do. I wonder, um, I guess you just can you to... feel it? Go ahead. I was trying to think of like how you can do this fight without getting hit once. Mm -hmm. You probably have to use like something from the berserker list. Mm. Um, what was I gonna say? Can you tell the difference from the amount that you put, cranked it up? You you can. So due to the size of the turbo, it doesn't spool till like a bit later. So it's maybe you don't really feel the turbo kick in to like 3,500 RPM. Mm -hmm. And then it's probably fully spooled by, I don't know, like 3,700. So like it, it builds boost pressure really quickly. Um, so as soon as it spools up, like you feel the car go from nothing to just like stupid power. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, I thought we were in the next one. Dang it. Reminds me of, uh, uh, I forget what, I think it was like on collegehumor.com or whatever, but it was this little cartoon of a, of a dude. He's leaving a party to go get more beer and he's already drunk. And like, it's, cause, because he's drunk, it's not like the car is amazing, but like, because he's drunk, as soon as he gets in the car and puts his foot down on the gas, it's like, ah! <laughs> I just like cannot control it. It's way too much for him. <laughs> what is in there? Get over to safety fast enough. I just gotta take the hits. We've angered oh my us. god. And not take any more hits. <laughs> come on, come on. Let me shoot you. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Just made it. Make it! Make it! We made it. All right.
Good work. Oh jeez, what happened? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what those things were. different uh different uh possibilities here I wonder if it was um, Star Wars that, that started that room. Like, that room that you just went into has been, like, done so many times where it's a big-ass open room with a thing in the middle, like a column. You destroy that, that's the power source. Seems like it. Yeah, like when they wouldn't destroy the Death Star 2. Looks like that. And that's the first time I can remember seeing anything like that. And Definitely, I've seen it in, in like lots of video games and a couple other movies. Yeah, to this thing. Reacting. <laughs> it's in Starblade. It's in Star Fox.
break the shit out of it. I didn't really get why it had particle parts that you couldn't hit. Yeah, that was strange. Because it didn't seem like I was ever supposed to hit those parts. It's dead now. Oops, Maybe it causes it to shoot. That's what I thought. I shot this one and it didn't. I think it just went down. Is this actually going to hurt me? Or... Whoa. I don't think so. It's a mystery. Oh. I have to do something with it. Oh, just gotta beat it up. Oh, we shoot it a bunch? Okay. When in doubt, hit it more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Dragon. <laughs> yeah, it does look familiar.
going down. Yeah, bring it down. Hell yeah. Please don't fight me. Damn it. Oh. Hahaha. <laughs> shot your tail. Atom dragon. Safe over here. Oh, it's not safe. It's oh not boy. Safe. Oh, fuck me. That's terrible. I think it killed it. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What? How far away was it that we saved last? Like, decently far. God damn. I think it basically just one one shot us. Well, stay away from the front end for sure. Good lord. It tricks you, it's not safe over there. Yeah, it said it was. Momentarily it was. All was fine until disaster struck. This is dope, right? Here, here we are again. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's just one more to destroy, I guess. No, there's like two, Both of them? three things, yeah. Ah. Damn. It should be a little bit quicker this time, though. At least it's got good music. Kill it! Right. So once we're at the final reactor, I'll just make sure to heal up beforehand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you could have withstood that, that shot.
I don't even know if you need to set all these up. It seems like you just need them to oh. damn it. Hide. <laughs> oh my god. What? It knocks you out out. Alright. <laughs> Well, that's great. Doesn't reset the puzzle. thing too. Yeah, it was a while back that we saved. Mm -hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. Why is he so like bent on not trying to not hurt uh, Azel or whatever her name is when she's like definitely trying to hurt you? Uh, she's just a confused person. She's not, She's not bad. Okay.
One more? All right, just one more, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Again. Again. Still flying. Yep. We can stay in the air though. It's okay. Even if we get hit with that thing, it shouldn't kill us. Come on, Edgy-kun. Oh,ただ。あの時言ったはずだ。あの人の邪魔をするなら殺すと待ってくれ。アゼル。彼女を傷つけずに後に戻るだけを狙う。やれるのか。why do you want to hurt Atom? Also, poor little dragon. Good lord. <laughs> And everything turns green. So typically his tail is his weak point, so maybe now we can hurt his tail. Nope. No, I don't 
Maybe you could have, like, if you were a little quicker about it. Green everywhere. Um. Nope. No. Well, it didn't say like weak point. Mm. Weak oh yeah, that's right. Point. It does. It does. He might just not have. Possibly. But then what? It is the, a big badass dragon. What's the point of? He has like a few parts. Strange. Let's try it again. Like, what would be the point of this? To really hurt you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, several points. None of the parts seem to matter, though. Mm. God. Like, here you can only attack his tail. Here, there's like a smaller wing, something at the bottom. I don't know what those are. Two parts around the wing. Kill them all. And the laser hurts less from here. How? I feel like there's some strategy that I missed. I don't think this is what you're supposed to do. Guess we'll uh, see how it ends. Did you force it to land, or did it crash? Oh no, it's still, still good. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Yeah. What? It's like a laser. Oh no. Healing thing. Uh. <laughs> huh. The little force fields go away. Save yourselves. Oh no. Oh. 
I hope that those things don't come back when you're able to, like, get rid of them. Not the dragon! God damn it. Yeah. Can you not aim to that? There okay, it is. There go. No, I just... I just can't aim. <laughs> Get it together. So I don't know if those serve a specific purpose, like if those ones just heal him, or if they can also attack me. Because if that's the case... Did I? Oh! Get back! Oh! Oh! oh. I don't know if it killed us. No, it didn't. Oh my it's god. Very close. You were able to withstand it. Does that shield do anything for you? You got a fuckload of them. Hey, it costs a lot of MP. Oh. I'm gonna shoot. Oh, I see. I thought it was like you had that many um, in your inventory. No. My bad. Ridiculous attack. Fuck him up. There's so much life. Oh, oh no. Oh. Those assholes came back. And they're gonna heal him. Oh, uh, wait. They have different purposes. The um, green ones heal. So just yeah. kill the green ones first. Well, they heal a lot. Hopefully, if you just kill the green ones, they won't come back. If they're, you know, because like sometimes those things don't like they only come back when you kill all of them. All right, I could just leave one around. Yeah. Right, so but it might not be that way. Let's see. We could leave one of the attacking ones around. Yeah. Because we definitely can't heal with this because it heals a lot. I think you can't do this alone either. Right. There's just one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> heal myself first and mm -hmm. we'll let that thing heal him. Start over. <laughs> Stupid shield. Okay, 
And full health. Full health, basically. <laughs> oh god. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. If we just leave one of them around, that might prevent them from coming back. That's hopefully what, what's gonna happen, yeah. Oh, hope so. I don't know if Berserker Rage would kill that thing, but I don't know if it doesn't hit it. It's like if it has a like, friendly fire or something. Right. So she did that twice, and then the and then the bits came back or whatever mm -hmm. you call them. The life bars aren't even changing colors no. as they go down. There's just so many. You don't get to know how far, how far close you are. Oh man. I do really like that move. <laughs> <laughs> Very intense. Ah, oh, fuck you! Come back. But just one. Two at a time. But it's not. Well, the that's. Whole... Yeah. That, that can that can happen like one or two heals before you get the rest. Oh, of them. wait, yeah, they're they do all come back. Okay, I think you can probably See? handle the uh, the attack damage that they do with both of the attack bits out. I don't know, maybe. Do you have to take those things out quickly now? Yeah. shield on all the time. There it is. Yeah. Recover your magic points, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Should actually do that while we have a chance. You don't have that many, though, do you? Mm. I guess that'll last for a while, though.
Yeah, it's probably pretty good uh, if, you, if you're all charged up waiting for him to come back. Mm -hmm. You can take him out pretty quick. Puts it right back up. There it is. You're, I mean, you are damaging him more than they're healing him. It's but not true. much. Not much. <laughs> not much at all. Maybe you could use a, a, a different attack that, that attacks everybody. Would it, would it be strong enough to kill every all those little... little Things at once. Possibly. Uh, I'm not sure which attack would do that. I mean, I the attack that you use before. Because the, the, the issue really ahead. is that um, they have the shield, which mm. is what makes it annoying. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that'll get around the shield. You just have to wait. Yeah, you just have to wait for it to drop it. Mm. Which is like, I think now, right around now, they should be coming back. Yep. Maybe. Seems like it. Usually is. Maybe it's not as regulated as I thought. Because mm. it always seemed like two or three turns and then back. Yep. Get him! You can actually see the progress on the <laughs> colors going down now, that's good. Alright. Cool. Maybe it only happens like three or four times, and then the, it's like, uh, I have nothing left. Oh wait, that was like, <laughs> super pissed. There was no safety. Oh boy. Maxis. Help me. Yeah, keep doing that as far as I care. Don't bring back those assholes. Somehow I don't think that you were able to, to, to take it down without hurting it. Oh, I've never seen Narrow Escape before. I thought Close Call was as bad as it gets. No, guess not. Yeesh. It wasn't that bad. Narrow Escape. 
It, t it definitely took a long time. It was probably the longest boss fight mm -hmm. so far. And another level was gained. Hell yeah. Oh no! Free fallen. Smata. Better. Manyanoka. Uh oh. The hell. Who did the telekinesis? Atoll? The oh. The dragon? Maybe. But I thought it turned to stone. Didn't it look like it just did? I don't know what or happened. Like, yeah. It's not a happy dragon. Hmm. You're gonna let me ride your dragon yet? <laughs> Freaking light of judgment looks like. <laughs> Isn't that the town that they wanted you to protect? I think so. Nobody bothers to find Atom. Like he fell out of the sky. <laughs> Hopefully he's okay. It looked like he was turning to stone or something or other as all of his color went out. I'll be right back. I need the bathroom.
続いてバルナ級戦艦が快適します俺が噂のドラッグ陛下の御前で兵隊を晒すわけにはいかん手柄を上げるぞ迎撃戦闘開始I miss not a much. I went to that air force armada that appeared, and it basically leads you immediately into a fight. So you got a lot of things that you want to do um, for the Evo, yeah? Um, not, not too many things. Um, these were just There is upgrades. a list. There's a list, but these were just upgrades <laughs> that I felt like needed from the work that was done to the motor. Right. Uh, but w what do you want to do first? Or is it kind of like, I'll just do it all at once? <laughs> it's kind of all at once. Um, Because you're going to be in there anyway, so you might as well. Yeah, this is like famous yeah. last words. Like, well, I'm in there. <laughs> That's funny. But... How long do you think it'll take? Oh, not long. Like, I think the, the clutch, I would like to just at least have it checked or inspected to see, like, what state it's in. Because uh -huh. I know what clutch is in there, and those are good clutches. But I don't have the history of it, so I don't know when it was put in. Is it acting like it might be needing repair or anything? Uh, I think the clutch pedal itself needs to be adjusted, because I have kind of odd things happen with the clutch, where mm. it... I don't even really know what this is. I, I've never had something like this before, where it seems to, like, sag occasionally. Uh. So this... It, I remember it happening, uh, or first noticing when I, I just got it, and I was driving it back up north, where after, like, repeatedly engaging the clutch, um, I'll feel the pedal sag a bit. Like, just go further back before than, than it normally does? L like, not return to the same top position that it was always at. Okay, okay, yeah. And, um... Oh, I, I wanted to dodge it. <laughs> Minor inconvenience. Oh, wait, I think I can shoot those things. And then... That is weird, though. Um... It doesn't seem to have any negative effects. Like, I can still shift the same as I always could. So it's not like the gears will grind or it um, it feels like it's not engaging. I mean, but, you would be depressing the pedal further than the amount that it sags anyway, right, to, to use it? Yeah, but my, my concern is like, hey, if this gets worse, like you always want to engage the clutch fully. You don't want to push the clutch in like halfway and try to get it in and out of gear. Right. Sooner or later, I think if that was the case, it would start like, grinding and just making bad noises. So it's easier just to have it taken care of before it turns into a bigger problem. For sure. But I've just never had an issue like this before, so I don't really know what it is. Like I, I, I checked um, the fluid, the hydraulic fluid for it, and it's... Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
fluid seemed okay, though. Yeah, the fluid seemed fine. Um, so it wasn't... It wasn't low, and it wasn't leaking, or anything like that. That's good. Uh, have you had a clutch go out on you before, so you, like, know what it feels like? Not like that. I've had a clutch be old, and basically start slipping. Uh-huh. Jesus. Working you. Lucky sevens! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that's definitely not what's happening here. Hmm. And plus, this car has a lot more power, and it's the clutch is able to hold it just fine. Is that one of the clutches that's uh, that's like seventy five pounds or something? Uh, that's the other thing. Of, so, of, of uh, resistance, that is. Oh, to engage? Yeah. Uh, I I want to say it's close. Mm. Like the one that I had in the Evo Eight was um i think a bit more stiff it was very like i've I, i've only used regular clutches you know my entire driving experience but then i got into yours and i was like what the hell you have to like really stomp down or not like literally stomp but like put a lot of pressure yeah onto the onto the uh, clutch you do. i like it so in the in the evo the eight that i had i i remember it was close to like 60 or 70 pounds to okay. to engage the clutch <laughs> what is like I, I I like it but I don't really know why I like it but also is there is there like a reason for it to be that resistant I can't think of a reason I mean the clutch is gonna exert a, or the the pressure plate that's on on the clutch and then the entire clutch pack is gonna exert a certain amount of force on it but the the way it's functioning with the pedal, it's connected to a hydraulic system. So, so you shouldn't yeah. feel much of anything. So that's the same reason why it's so easy to turn up um, a wheel on a car. Wheel. Yeah. That so has like, power wh steering. Why do you choose to have such a such a resistant clutch? I don't know. <laughs> it's because you like it too and you don't know why. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Um, I mean, like, I don't have a choice in the matter. All clutches in the Evos that I've ever had were like this. Oh wow! There was a certain degree of force that was required, like more or less, but they were all very, like, heavy. So, the question is, why do they make them that way then? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be that the hydraulics just aren't that good. Isn't that a bad thing then? Who knows? There could be various reasons for it. Like maybe they didn't want to have a bigger pump for weight reasons. Maybe they were just cheap. <laughs> I don't know. It I was, mean, it's definitely like, something I was always curious about because I was like, I, mm. I've driven other more powerful cars, mm -hmm. and like they would have clutches, clutches like, like butter, where you just like, Bloop. yeah. I also remember this like really old Civic that I drove where the clutch maybe went in like an inch. Mm. And I was like, maybe the clutch is optional. Because I was like, I feel like this thing does nothing. <laughs> did you try to, to shift it without? I did, and it ground the gears. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> You had to try, huh? <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to try to put it in gear without engaging the clutch. Because I was like, I don't think this clutch does shit. <laughs> it, um, it did do shit. I, I actually no, I definitely prefer something with a little bit more resistance to it. Now well, that it feels I've like tried I'm doing yours. something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but even like, uh, like if I was to buy a new car or, or, or you know, a, a new a new vehicle to me doesn't have to be a new car, but like I would obviously go for something with power steering because it's like so standard that it's weird to not have it. But I've I've driven oh. cars without without power steering. Oh and right, I, I, I think I, you'd have a hard like time. It. Trying to find a car without power steering. Exactly, you would nowadays you, you for sure. You wouldn't be able to find one. Um, but like, I do like driving without power steering. It's it's it, you feel it more. Just more more of a one to one kind of uh, really input output. Yeah. I I don't have any like joy or distaste with power steering. I prefer to have it there. Like, the yeah. Datsun that I have doesn't have power steering, but that's because no. that car is pretty power steering. <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't, like, 
prefer driving the power steering, like without power steering, just just to feel it more. I don't know. It doesn't make yeah. a difference to you. Mm -hmm. uh, There's definitely cars where you feel more or less of the road. Like in the Evo, mm -hmm. it has kind of a more direct feel to the road. Like well, the Evo's lower to the ground. Uh, it's but. not necessarily that part, but I, like I guess like the road effect. So like you. You feel the imperfections in the road, which I think is probably mostly related to the lower quality of power steering and then like the whole steering rack. Mm -hmm. um, like in the Mercedes, for instance, uh, I could drive that thing with one finger on the steering wheel going like 100 feet. <laughs> oh wow! And it <laughs> just it's just stable and solid. Dude, that's a pretty cool feeling too, though. I bet. Yeah, like if you're going in a straight line, you could just have like one finger on the steering wheel and it's just, it just goes fine. Like, but then like, <laughs> like if you if you uh, if you were driving like that and and like, I, I probably feel like nervous. Like if I accidentally twitch in one direction, I'm gonna like spin the car like flying. <laughs> it would probably. It, it's still very responsive, so it's like. Yeah. yeah. But if you did, if you had if you had not power steering, the st standard steering, it would take a lot more force to. Not when you're moving. The... Like if you're moving, it's going to be s relatively easy to turn it. You'll still feel it. Like Fair you won't enough. be able to do it with one finger. But <laughs> like I'm I'm thinking power steer without power steering. Like if the car is stationary and you try to turn the wheels, mm. they're like there there you go. Like that's a workout. <laughs> it, it could be. I mean, I've definitely done it. Uh, uh, like the circuitry is saying, if it's a he heavy vehicle, then that then, mm. then my argument goes out the window because it's it's just torture. <laughs> but uh, uh, I've driven like a um, what was it? A friend of mine in, in high school had a uh, uh, Malibu. I think it was a, a Chevy. Malibu. No, maybe not. Um, it was a small uh, sedan. Like, and I, uh, I can't even remember if it had back with the doors. I think it did. Um, is it now? It was a small car, but it didn't have uh, power steering. And I was like, this is, I love driving this car. It's so much fun. It's, it wasn't even a very powerful car. Yes, mess it up. Ow. Oh man, I've angered it. <laughs> It's so funny how like those attacks, they don't really hurt all that much, but it looks like it hurts a lot. <laughs> Poor dragon feels. There's exhaust port three. Reminds me of a uh, like some shoot 'em up game, like arcade style, where where like you come up on a big ass air fortress or whatever, you gotta yeah. destroy all the all the little turrets and whatever, and move on to the next level. You Did should you check out this, shoot this game thing? called uh, called uh, Dragon Spirit. It's a, it's a shoot 'em up game. With your your dragon, <laughs> and it's really hard. Hmm. Ah, weakness. Yeah, aren't those uh, bosses so much fun? Circuitry. Jesus Christ, how much life is it gonna have? Yeah, what what was that? It doesn't need more life. Oh my God. Are you soul dragon spirit? <laughs> how could you do that? It was an Atari game. Hmm. That's too bad. I bet you got over a thousand for it, though. Hope. Oh, excellent. Oh, 
Watch out! Kind of a little bit looked like a Zohar there. Yeah. Jesus. Oh no! Was that the same thing that, that destroyed that town? That just I hit you? So. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The dragon locked it. And I, I think I told you that I ordered that new titanium exhaust. Uh, I think you did. Yeah. Um, so when's when's it gonna arrive? Uh, I think it takes at least a month to build. So oh, it's it has been, to be custom built, huh? Mm, I think well, I think it's built to order. Yeah. That's what it said. Nice. Um, what's so it's been the, just uh, about three weeks now. What's the advantage of having a titanium, obviously, just being lighter? This one's just lighter. Um, it's kind of the one to get, mostly just because it's titanium. and Like, I hate the exhaust that's on there now, because it's kind of loud and droney. Oh, does it uh, have a difference in the sound? Ooh. Uh, well, the first thing I did with this exhaust was basically get a baffle for it and stick it in there. To, to reduce the sound? Yeah. Uh, not a huge fan of, like, loud exhausts. Yeah, I got you. Doesn't have to be uh, loud as, as it can be to make a, a, a pleasant noise. Mm-hmm. It is cool when your car makes a specific noise, though. But this one, this one will have a good sound to it, and it comes with a baffle that it's in intended for that exhaust. Because mm. the the one I got is just the right diameter, but I kind of just drilled holes into it where the screws are supposed to go, so it sticks into place. <laughs> so it's not, okay. it's not quite the one that's supposed to go in there. What are you gonna do with your old exhaust? Are you gonna keep it? Um, I'll actually probably put like an ad or something back just to give it away for free. Like if somebody really? wants it. Or maybe just charge like a hundred bucks for it. I mean, it's the stock exhaust that came with it, right? Uh, no, it's not the stock exhaust. Oh, wow. Well, well, yeah, That's then you should um, try to try to sell it for something. It's this random Goretti brand exhaust. I'm sure there's some uh, car person forum that you could be like, I got an exhaust, anybody want this? Couple hundred bucks, whatever. Yeah, there there was a super popular site called um, Evolution M. Uh huh. Where basically everyone would go to for anything evil related. Right. But I think that the car is <laughs> getting older now. It seems like that site's um, kind of dead. Really? Yeah, it's definitely uh, not as active as like when it was in the early 2000s when I had my Evo. Are they not making Evos any longer? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. They're like long gone. Oh. Well, that shouldn't matter to the internet. Like, people love retro stuff. That's dumb. How, well, when was the last Evo made? Twenty uh, sixteen, maybe. Maybe it's that's the, not even long dead. It's Five the Evo years. Evo ten. I'm not really sure when they discontinued it, mm. so I might be wrong. That this sucks that it went. <laughs> yeah, Warcraft two. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it just sucks that it, it dropped off so quickly. I, I'll have to take a closer look at the form and see. Mm. Just the last couple times I was there, it wasn't as active as it, I've previously seen it. I mean, it's like it's a cool car. Mm -hmm. It should be it should be popular forever. I would think so. But the the good piece of info is that 
probably 90% of the information you want is already going to be there. So if you have a question, Fair enough. chances are you could just find it's, an answer. It's already been answered. Yeah, it's already been answered. That's fair enough. But I might post it there. But, like, I can't ship the exhaust just because it's massive. Oh, you have to pick it up? Oh, no. Like, if I was to get rid of my current exhaust, like, it would have to be somebody local that would drive oh, it. Oh, I see. Because I'm not going to ship this 30-pound or 20-pound thing. <laughs> and it's like, how long is it? Probably, like, uh, five feet. Yeah, it's going to be longer than that. Oh my god. Can you... read this? Letters. He totally stole it from her. <laughs> that is a... shitty move, dude. Yeah, I'm excited to play this new version of, uh, of almost said Warcraft, but uh, <laughs> of Skyrim uh, because yeah. it's a really it's a uh, special edition whatever re-release. Um, yeah, it's called the special edition, but Ooh. it's a it's a uh, like they gave all the graphics a facelift up to like I think you can play it in 4K, uh, but oh, I don't know nice. 4K, but um, yeah, it's got it's got. A, renewed graphics even though like the, the original graphics didn't even look all that bad it was a good looking game to begin with oh i also got a new inner cooler What's that um it's the charged air cooler for the turbo so oh. the turbo compresses it's a bunch cool. of air and shoots it through the inner cooler to cool it off mm -hmm. and then it goes into the intake Cool. <laughs> Let me just go to the tower. Tower, I guess. Tower away. All right. But the reason for the new intercooler was the the stock one that's on there is a little bit damaged. Oh, really? Uh, it's basically, just think of like a radiator. Like that's essentially mm. what it is. It's just, except it's filled with air instead of water or coolant. Eventually they just, they just get uh, damaged over time, I suppose. I suppose. Well, I think what might have happened is someone bottomed out or tried to lift the car by the radiator. Mm. So okay. a, a bottom portion of it, like where the parts of the fins are at the mm. like lower center part, are compacted. Mm. Ouch. And plus for the amount of boost that the car is currently running, that's kind of maxing out the center cooler. In most cases, you don't need to replace these things. Like, the factory parts are just fine. Mm. Well, if it's damaged, then yeah. sure. It's a good excuse to. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? What is all that shit on the fucking ceiling? No idea what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is some shit. Alright, so we帝国軍の最後の切り札。ウォー。時間グリゴーリングだ。グレゴーリング。人間の扱うものではないのだ。あの戦艦もトーム。旧世紀の全てが。お前はどうなんだ。自分だけ特別扱いか。Pretty sure you won't be able to shoot him. Mm. 
君に見せたいものがある。Are there story scenes like this in the、um, first Panther Dragon, the other Panther Dragon games? Uh, not the ones that I remember playing, but I played like the super old ones. These are all super old. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the show reboot looked better than this. <laughs> That was the first fully CG show ever. われわれは目に見えない旧世紀の力によって守られているのだ。ここに来るまでに見ただろう。あの大量の構成生物を。あれも塔から生まれ出たものだ。彼らは生態系の管理者なのだよ。その行動のすべてが人類を滅亡から
I wonder how close we are to the end of this disc. Been on it for a little while. Yeah. Uh, when you take into the account uh, <clears throat> into account the length of the other discs, that is. Hmm. There was like sixty. There was like sixty something tracks on the on the soundtrack that I just downloaded. Mm -hmm. Sixty three. A lot of music. I wonder how much they compressed it for the game too, because like it's CD music, right? Mm -hmm. So like I, I I wonder how much of the the discs are are you know for for the music only. Oh. Actually, that's a good question. I never tried putting one of these Saturn discs into a CD drive. Well, usually um, you can't play, like, the whole game soundtrack. Like, for the, the PlayStation, for instance, you could put the, the disc into the CD-ROM drive and get some kind of content out of it. Usually it was just, like, artwork or mm. some other small stuff, but it wasn't like you could just play the background music or something. No, 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 you usually can't do that. Because it doesn't understand the yeah. partitions on it. But uh, maybe it is different for like the place there, the, the Sega Saturn. Maybe they, they didn't bother. Just plopped it on the disc. <laughs> Do we just want to skip everything? <laughs> there seems to be stuff. Big ass place. What do? Jesus. That's a cool effect. Yeah. Damn, why does this music rock so hard? Pretty good music in this game. <laughs> Play it your way, fine. Oh, uh, uh, I meant to ask you, have you ever seen uh, the game Rocksmith before? Yeah. 
Yeah, have you played it before? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Um, like, it's the I'm one like, where you plug your actual guitar in. Yeah. Like, it's the three and a half millimeter jack to USB. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have it. Um, oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Well, good. That have you, like, how, how far have you gotten? I haven't played it in a long, long time, but I used to play it a lot. But did you, like, actually... Were you better than when I last saw you play guitar, which is not good at all? Uh, probably not. Oh, well, <laughs> it's supposed to teach you to be better. It is. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so I got better, and then I stopped playing, and I got worse. <laughs> oh, well, uh, at least you were better for a while. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yes. Um... You ought to buy yourself a bass guitar. Uh, just like you don't have to get an expensive one or anything like that. But like, um, I for for me anyway, I was playing it originally on on six string guitar, and I'm like, eh, I feel like I should be better at this, and and I'm not. Um, so I, I ended up getting a bass guitar, and I was like immediately really good, uh, because I mean it is simpler. There's only four strings, but you don't have to worry about chords and such. And it's it's more of a rhythm thing rather than a rather than a melody thing. Mm -hmm. Although I mean, if you hit the wrong note, that's not good. But but uh, it's it just it, it clicked a lot better for me, and uh, I feel like it's more fun. So I mean, like it might not be the same for you, but it, it could be to try it. Uh, yeah, I mean the the difficulty of playing guitar was never. Like a fact why I stopped playing it. Mm. So that never turned me off. Like I oh, I didn't mind it, it was... but it was hard. Well, why did you stop? You just don't like playing music? Because uh, <laughs> I, I used to play with like my old roommate at the time, this guy still. Oh, uh, like two player? Like that, or like we just used to play. Like he was always way better than I was because he's played oh. guitar for ages. Uh -huh. But like he was still super fun to play with. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm sure he taught you a few things, too. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I, like, I, I tried to teach you a, a few things. A regular, but... like, six-string, and I think he like he had a bass as well. They would play bass. Oh. Okay, okay. So you had to play bass. But yeah, I remember trying to teach you a few things, uh, and... Like, I'm not very good, so, like, I can't teach very well either. <laughs> I'm unteachable. <laughs> but also, I'm not a very good teacher, because I don't know what I'm talking about for the most part. <laughs> but with bass, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you have a hard time trying to express what you think. Me? Yeah, so I like that. I do. But yeah. usually I'm pretty good at trying to read people's minds. So I was like, uh, okay, well, I, think, I, I think I understand what you're trying to say. I think of all people that I've known that you, you decode my gibberish better than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> You've been exposed to it the longest. <laughs> like, I think this is what he means. <laughs> Inferno! Also, there's a, uh, I don't know if you know, but there's a, a way to um, to modify the game and you're able to download custom songs off of a specific site. They're all free. Oh! You gotta watch out, though, because, like, uh, 
they're user created. So like some of them are bad. <laughs> like they don't they don't the, the notes aren't correct or they're like or like they they're they, they make it super lazy where they don't take off the bass tracks. So you can't even really hear yourself playing. Hmm. Like it just Which plays on its own. Where... I think it's with the rest of my guitar set. Oh, where your uh, uh, hookup is? Yeah. Because I know I still have it, and I know I saw the game, like, not too long ago. <laughs> I was like, hmm, should I? I was surprised. I was surprised that the uh, the attachment that you have to buy is, is like, it's like $30 a day. I, the one I got, it was a very long time ago, and I feel like there was a deal on it. Because, like, that guy Steve mm. was the one that told me about it. I downloaded the the soundtrack to this one and that uh, uh, Ace Dana mm -hmm. um, uh, soundtrack for for um, Skyrim, and I put a couple other songs in there that I know aren't aren't uh, copywritten. Oh, nice! You're gonna be so set. It should, it, yeah, it should be set. Like I probably can add some more stuff later eventually, but like for the most part, we're not gonna like be hearing the same damn thing every time I play it. Oh no! For this stream, we should find a safe point soon. Sure. Yeah, like I feel like the the soundtrack is outshining a lot of like it's making the the fact that the graphics are are horrible like okay. <laughs> it's making game? up for yeah. it. <laughs> it most certainly is. If the gameplay for this game wasn't fun. I would say that this game had no business having a have a sound having a soundtrack this bit. This oh bit. no! But it's, it's got enough going for it. it. Actually, like all the Panzer Dragoons, always have very good music. Oh yeah. Yeah. You before you like these good graphics. I mean, I'm not like repulsed by them. I'm more amused by how bad it looks. But uh, I cannot call these good graphics. <laughs> it, in all fairness, like what Sega did, did or like Team Andromeda, mm -hmm. was mind blowing. Because like I think this was the first 3D game where they had developed their own 3D engine. Oh yeah. Couldn't so tell it's you. Definitely not the first 3D game, but right. I think the one that was like based off of like a 3D engine of some sort, whatever that meant back in the day. Sega had to develop their own. Fancy. Definitely does have that that um, quality to it of, of CD based 3D graphics. Like it, it reminds me of uh, some of them, like the dragon in, in particular. Kind of reminds me of uh, something from Final Fantasy VIII, mm -hmm. or maybe even um, uh, uh, 
Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Actually, yeah, I like Kane. Yeah. I think Kane was more on par with the game, like this game. Gaining levels like crazy. Boom. There's nothing. Nothing happened. Don't be terrible. I just noticed you you didn't change the uh, the title of our stream before starting. It says that we're playing Fallout. <laughs> it's a struggle. Uh, oops. Okay though, it'll it'll be correct on YouTube. It's a mod. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Fallout mod. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, I, I wonder if I can change it. Oh, I can! Yep. Holy crap! Well, go for it! I mean, like, it matters, we're about to be done, but, like, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yeah, the adventures of Zorg have come to an end for a while. I might pick it back up some other time, but time for Skyrim. <laughs> I wonder what those things normally move around. <laughs> right? Like, they look <laughs> like big hollowed out stones. It definitely fits a dragon in there. Dragoon. Mm-hmm. Damn it. 
Oh. Oh, what is that other Dragoon? Legend of Dragoon? Mm -hmm. uh, RPG? That game is fun. That uh, is I never a got fun to, game. I never got to finish it. <laughs> Your one weakness. I <laughs> and I and like I have like this is like before like that thing even like became a, a major thing. <laughs> like I, I I normally did finish games back then, but I don't remember uh I, I don't think I got like bored by it or anything like that. I think I like gave it back to you or something because I borrowed it from you originally. I still have it. I don't know why I didn't play it all the way through. Okay. It's like a four disc game too, isn't it? Yeah. Game likes its uh, twisty corridor levels. It does. Wake the tower? <laughs> I should leave these alone. What's that? Mm -hmm. something? My oh, radar sees something. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's in the next wall over. Safe point. <laughs> There's got to be one in here eventually. Somewhere. <laughs> Eleven. How many floors are there? Yatsura no Hontai Made. Ato Tono Kraida. Okay. Go, Hurry up, Edgy.
ドラゴン来ます来たか奴つを足止めする了解Oh, okay. No. It stuns the dragon. The nerve. Everything after you. Another level. <laughs> of course, this is going to be like that forever. Yeah, I imagine you must come back here. Just too rocky. <laughs> Him again. And and again.
turn so fast. doesn't let you get... How am I supposed to do this? Okay, just eventually works. It's <coughs> <laughs> kind of stupid. You must get beat up first. Hit me so I can hit you. <laughs> That's how it's got to be. Same damn thing. Is it broken? Better not be. Hmm. Oh, okay. Our stats start back to normal. That's good. Uh, until so now. <laughs> <clears throat>
There it is. Ooh, much easier. Mm hmm. Gotta be the last round. What? Is there some other way that you're supposed to defeat them? Not that I can think of. Why would they throw five rounds of these things at you? Or is it the fourth round? Whatever. Either one is way too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That was weird. And you did level up, too. <laughs> I was starting to think, like, maybe I broke and it just kept loading the same thing over and over. Yeah, me too. Like, is that, like, the same thing over and over is just, like, not right. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. Because he did say one floor up, and we were on like the 11th. So I feel like this would take us to the 13th. Floor. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what's up here. Why is there no save point? Ancient devices saved. They really uh, keep well, huh? Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, Call it looks it like we're wrapping stream? up. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll be back soon with some some Skyrim, like I've been talking about. And everybody, make sure to go check out Circuitry's stream. She's doing uh, Atari ST games right now. Uh, Sundays at four. Excellent. Take it easy, guys. See everyone in a bit. Mm-hmm.